Yes, hi. There's a question here. I will. Uh, so, I want to uh, ask to Nisha. Cassian in season 8, you I can see God. Great question. <laughs> Castiel, in season 8, do I can't see God? <laughs> Castiel, in season 8, do I can't see God? <laughs> Excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Um, see God, I, I can... Uh, I, I would say I can't see God. Yes. Yes? You can see season 8? Yeah, let's keep it present. Oh, that's a great idea. No flashes, please. Not, not great with 
stylistically, he's not great, you know, in terms of having any kind of variety. He doesn't program. have a lot of uh, out. Uh, he's um, he, 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 there's the there's a, a there's challenge. A yeah, of stylistically. We're trying to put this delicately without hurting his feelings. Right. He, there is a certain lack of variety in his attire. Change your stupid clothes. Change your clothes. <laughs> You know, it's just funny, we, we talked about this, we should and I talked about this, we were like, listen, you know, coming back to purgatory is a perfect opportunity to maybe change your clothes. What did you say? You know, I, I talked to them about it, they said, yeah, absolutely. It was brilliant what they did, actually. <laughs> because they said, yeah, we really actually. Here, here's your new suit. Which looks almost identical to the old suit. But technically it is new, so. <laughs> They placated me that way. So they basically got him the same outfit, just new. Slightly newer. different, yeah. Um, yeah, um, Cass has lots of character traits that I don't like. I don't like his voice, I don't like his posture. I don't like, he, 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 he hunches over. And I'm part of it, I feel like it's my fault. <laughs> I gotta be honest. There's, there's a part of cast that I don't like either. Yeah. And that's that's that he um, he he doesn't look at me when I talk to him. Yeah. He he literally looks away at the most inopportune times. Yeah. We're in the middle of a scene and he's just. <laughs> but when it's his turn to talk. Yeah, you know I don't know where he gets that. Where did that where did that come? From? I don't know where he gets that because we can see. Choices for the character early on in the uh, in, in the process, and there there are some things that we do uh, that we don't necessarily we're not really aware that we're going to be married to forever. And the, uh, and the term choices is a strong word as well. It is. Sometimes it's just like something happens. Something happens. It, here's a, here's an example for Dean uh, in season one. We go to talk to somebody about the subject. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt and Tinder. <laughs> we do a little product placement here. This is a wow. This is this is really good apple juice. <laughs> uh, it smells. It smells like it's probably maybe uh, 16, 16 years, years old. 17 years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I decided that that was a little going to be a funny thing. 
then Dean proceeded to be written as this glutton of fast food and junk food for the next eight seasons. And it literally was off of those little sausages that I, I just randomly wasn't even, I'm not even sure they were supposed to be eaten. I checked with my props department afterwards and I'm like, listen, were those even good? Because they didn't taste good. And, uh, and Robin, uh, bless her heart, was like, yeah, they weren't meant to be eaten. <laughs> She's like, it's okay, they were fresh, but they weren't meant to be eaten. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, do you have another bag? Because I just... And a doctor. And a doctor. <laughs> I'm now going to need. So anyway, yes, there are, it's interesting that there, because we make, we make kind of decisions or choices, even spur of the moment, things happen within a scene or within an episode, that, uh, that then they continue to write for. And that's, that's part of the process of a character within a television series is the actor does things and the writers watch this and then they start writing towards what the actor is doing and they start, it's, so it's a collaboration as the character develops. So I'm sure that there are things that Misha is like, man, why did I do the voice thing? <laughs> And they're the, and me as well. You know, why did I decide to do the voice thing? Because that's I don't I don't or the, I don't talk like this all the time. <laughs> or the Neanderthal thing that you do. Or the Neanderthal thing that I do. Yeah, that's actually I like that. That's kind of yeah. That is actually <laughs> anyway. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. Hi guys. Hi. We will. In fact, um, I'm glad that you brought that up. Is there a way to bring up the house lights a little bit? Can we do that? Real quick. I'm going to video you guys just for like two seconds. And I'm going to send it uh, to the tall guy. And, um, and I'm gonna Can you bring him up even more? Can you mind. bring him up even more? Is there, is there a way to get to... Back of the house? If not, that's, it's fine. It's, the sound will be fine. Um, but, uh, what, 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 what do you think? We miss you, Jared? Is that... We love you. We love you. We love you. We love strong. What's a strong word? <laughs> we like you. We like you, yeah. <laughs> Same punch though. It, it doesn't. Yeah. We don't like you. We like you. Like <laughs> um, Alright, let me just, I'm gonna start and. Um, I'll, I'll count it. Okay. Uh, I'll count three. We love you. What? what? We oh, love what? you, Jared. No, 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 we miss you. We miss you, Jared. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Uh, we're recording. So there you go. We tell the stories and the, and 
the stories that you give us, we relay those, we relay those to the crew, and, and they are, uh, I wish you all could, could meet them. They're, they're, they're our family, it's a, they're an amazing bunch of people, and, uh, and they work very, very hard to make a really quality product, I think. And, uh, and they are, they're the true heroes in my eyes, so um, thank you for acknowledging them, because they're awesome. They don't see their family. Supernatural, and, and I, yeah, I think that you guys definitely try to show your appreciation to them by not physically abusing them that much. <laughs> well, Jared's broken a few ribs. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> by, hugging, by hugging people too hard. That's <laughs> true. So it's your fault. Because we're just trying to embrace them as though they, they love us this much. <laughs> this is how much they love you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, but they, they, they are the unsung heroes, and uh, thank you for acknowledging that. She's not done. She's just getting started, as a matter of fact. Thank you. 